All right, so if you want to want, run or walk a little faster, the Start Today November Challenge is for you. Just scan that QR code for a 31-day cross-training challenge designed to help keep you safely increasing your speed. All right, so here to show us how today, fitness contributor Stephanie Mansour and two Start Today community members, we have Melissa Del Valle Ortiz and Sue Levitt. Good morning to all of you guys. Good morning. Ladies. All right, so let's start with cross-training. Just talk a little bit about what that exactly means and then why you decided to focus on that for this month. You know, if you're walking or running, you're, you're going forward, right? Yep. But mm -hmm. we're going to train our bodies to move side to side, front and back, up and down. Why? Because research shows that when we add strength training and cross-training, different types of training that you're used to, you actually improve your cardiovascular health more than if you were just to walk One or thing. run. Yes. Okay. All right. So Fair this right. is Sue. Sue, thanks for coming in. Thank Thanks you. for being a part of our Start Today community. So Sue, she works in dog rescue, lives here in New York City, and I understand that there was a, a period not long ago where you could barely walk. Exactly. Just but three years. That's I all in the past problems. now, though. Surgery and now starting up with Steph. Oh, I love so that. All right. So. What's your question for Stephanie? Stephanie, I do... Fun, fun work and rescue, but I also sit at my desk a lot, and I don't get to get out and take my walks. What can I do to cross-train yeah. at home, in my home office? Yeah, you know, so many of us are seated all day, every day, right? So what we're going to do is a strength training but mobility exercise, too. So we're going to place hands behind the head, and we're going to start stepping over to this side here. So take a side lunge step, so bend that knee. Nice, nice job here, Sue. Weight on the heel. We're going to come back to center. Then we're going to lift that same leg up and do a cross. So a little bit of balance. You feel that in your core, too? All right, so we're stepping to the side, feeling a stretch in that oh, standing that leg. Like yeah, that. yeah, good. I'm glad, Craig. Stretch. Come to center and then cross work the abs. Good. So we do 10 to one side and then we do 10 to the other side. And again, we're working on stretching and strengthening as well as engaging the core so that we have better posture while we're sitting and also walking and running. Great job. Okay, that's a good one. Right. I like that. Working in a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Uh, this is yeah. Melissa here. Melissa, you're a breast cancer survivor. You I served am. in the U.S. Army. Thank you so much for your service. Thank Why you. do you walk? So I walk as part of my rehabilitation post-surgery to really help stimulate my lymphatic system and stay just in basic shape. Yeah, so what's your question for Steph? So my question for Steph is a lot of women in the walking clubs that we started had post -mastect have post-mastectomy issues and so how can they strengthen their pectoral muscles. Yeah, that's a great question. And I always say before you start any workout routine, check with your doctor. But for us, since you want to build these muscles up here and stretch, we're going to do what's called the bird dog. So we're going to come oh, down on hands dog. and knees. Yes. Oh, okay. And we have a modification here for back. Sue, too. And anyone else that doesn't want to get down on the ground, okay. I'll explain that in a second. But for this, hands and knees, good. Shoulders lined up over the wrist. So just shift forward a tiny bit. Perfect. Knees open as wide as the hips, abs in tight. And we're going to extend one arm forward. Go ahead, so you can lift that arm up. Good, and then we're gonna extend the other leg back. So balancing here, alternate arm, or alternate leg, and then lower down. So extending the other arm forward, reaching back through the leg, nice, abs in, and come to center. Let me see this one more time, because a common mistake is we're not pulling those abs in tight and really puffing the low back up towards the ceiling, perfect. So that's how we get that core engagement, and you can keep going here. We're gonna that's do one arm the, forward. The muscles in here too? Exactly, yes. But it's, it's also it's, good for your core. It yeah. is great for your core. It's great for anyone with low back pain, anyone looking for more balance. And again, if you can check yourself out in the mirror, guys, you wanna make sure the arm is straight and the leg is straight too, and you're in one straight line. You don't want one leg up really high and one arm up like this. You wanna keep those abs in, maintain the integrity of your posture, and this really teaches your body to work work together in sync and helps you to be able to walk with less pain, run even faster because you're more elongated, you're stretched out, I feel okay? Yeah. Excellent. You already feel it, huh? You're Did I give right. you what you wanted? Yes. Yes. Thank okay, you. good. Thank you. Thank so you. those exercises and more will be yeah. the, work of, the workout plan. Yes, that's right. Head over to today.com slash start today and also tomorrow on Facebook, if you're in our Facebook group, uh -oh. we've got our live workout with all these exercises. So go to Facebook and type in start today. And thank Thank you guys as well. For yes. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.